Hey there, Leslie Langdon with Shimmers Paints, and today we'll be making cute little three inch um, squares of art. Now you can do this with any shape, whether it's circles or um, you know triangles, uh, whatever shape you can cut, you can uh, try this. So we'll be embedding some items in gesso paint, and then once that dries, we'll be going over top with some Shimmers Vibes, colorings, and paints. Okay, Stu, so, let's begin. So, uh, today we're going to make, these are um, three inch squares, and these are just a cereal box, um, well not a cereal box, but you know, box board that I've cut out. And these are going to be um, little decorative kind of paintings for, say, a card. So there's, you know, a card base, and then you have your sentiment down here. Okay, so to start, um, I want to create a lot of texture, and um, I want to embed things in this paint. So I'm going to do two um, today. I'm using gesso paint, and you just want to coat this... Um, piece liberally. Okay, Co coat both pieces. And I want to create texture, so I'm going to leave some spots bumpy. Okay. I'm going to be using different colors of uh, Shimmers products on these. Okay, so um, with one of these, I'm going to be putting some magic mesh on it. Okay, so this will give us some neat texture, okay, and that will dry in there. Okay. Just going to make sure on the outside so that it's up. And do you see how there's these these bumps coming out of the paint? That's going to dry that way, and that's going to look so cool once we shimmerize this project. Okay, and um, maybe I'll put some beads on this one as well. These are just beads from you know, the dollar store. This is just going to create some texture and I'm just going to put them in a little spot and I'm just going to press them into the paint. Okay? And those should just embed themselves into the paint. And, you know, when this has dried, you can kind of just rub off the ones that aren't sticking very well. Um, okay, and then we'll go and trim the, the magic mesh once we're done. Now let's move on to this one. And I have these, um, these metal pieces were from Michaels. It's just for jewelry, really. So maybe I'll put maybe three across there. So just pull pull the loops apart. You don't need those. And uh, then embed your piece, okay? Okay, so with this one here, um, what you want to do is just lightly apply the, the gesso paint on top of, of the metal pieces. Those will just pop out when we apply our shimmers, you'll see. So I'll leave that for now. We'll let these dry and then we'll come back and uh, start using our shimmers. Okay, so now the gesso paint is dry and we have our pieces here. I'm going to go ahead and trim this. Maybe I'll do it from this side. Trim the magic mesh. Okay, and then you can also just bend this kind of back into shape so it's still square. Okay, and like I said about those beads, you know if some aren't sticking, just kind of uh, rub them off. Okay, this one I'm going to spray with um, Shimmers Colorings, Anchors Away, and this is just a nice uh, deep um, blue you'll see here. Okay, so I'm going to do the whole thing. Uh, and then I'm going to go over it with Jenny B. Blur. This is a Shimmers Vibes. Okay, I just love these two colors together. You get a nice mm -hmm. blue plus the dark. Okay, so that's just uh, an interesting look. And now what I'm going to do is take some sunflower shimmers. And I'm just going to put dabs of color on these beads. Okay, and these will all just blend together and dry. Okay. And you've just created a little piece of art. You could even add some color here if you want. Okay, I think I'll stop there. 
and we'll see how that dries and uh, we'll make a little masterpiece for one of your cards. Okay, next I'm just going to start with a new piece of paper. I'm going to clean my brush over here. Okay, and I'm going to bring back this piece. So I'm going to do the Jenny B. Blow Vibes. Sometimes you have to spray the bottle up. It's not a beautiful color. I'm just going to wipe off these medallions. And then I'm going to paint them with that Sunflower Shimmers paint. Okay, so now that I've just dabbed off the color, um, I'm going to go ahead and use that Sunflower paint. And I'm going to paint these charms. Okay, I got a little bit in the middle there, so you can just dab it up. Okay. These colors look very pretty together. There's so much um, shimmer with this paint. Okay. So I'll stop there. Okay, so I just went ahead and sprayed, you know, my camera shut off because the battery ran out, but I just sprayed both sides with Anchors Away colorings, and they're both dry now because it's been some time. Um, so just to finish this off, I'm going to take some Key Lime Shimmers paint here. I just love this color. And I'm going to leave this one alone because I love the color palette. I just love how these stand out, and it's done. But here, I just thought it was a little dark. So I wanted to add some more variation in the color, so I'm just going to add some key lime there to this corner. Okay, and maybe, maybe up here. Okay, so I'm going to stop there. That's going to dry, and I'm then going to put them on some cards. I'm going to use Glue Arts You Cut It Foam. So I'll start with this one because I'm it's already ready. So just cut yourself you know, a strip of foam. Okay, and then you take your cardstock. Let's see. I do have a stamp to go along with this as well. So I'm just going to use some Distress Ink. This is Black Soot. Okay. Alright, so that is done. Now I can put the on here. Okay, so there it is. There's one card. Um, I'm going to take pictures of these so you can see what they look like in a photograph because sometimes it looks different. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.